Well, I won't go to the other episode of the electric region. What? This is Robert. Hello. Well, today we're gonna do things a little bit differently. We're gonna have a very quick test drive of the Chaopeng G3, a crossover SUV like uh, thing uh, or Xpeng. That's probably that is probably more known as. Looking very much forward to see how they pull this off. And uh, yeah, very excited. What do you What do you most expect excited about? I have to be sorry. I haven't uh, given uh, lots of thoughts uh, about this uh, test drive. I just uh, tag along. <laughs> yeah, but you know the car. No. Yeah, you're not tested. Oh. Yes. Okay. Uh, it's a Tesla copy. The Chinese yeah, Tesla oh, copy. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah. Uh, how it's. Uh, I mean, how it's inside cabin, the noise, uh, the seats. For me, the seats are very important. The infotainment system. Uh, is it just Tesla's uh, or everybody says? Uh, yeah. How much money? Yeah, yeah. And how much value for money? Are you yeah. So we're gonna do the test, and then we'll come back with our thoughts. So. That was the Chaopin G3. It's just a very, very competent product. Oh my, oh my word! The suspension, the steering feel, the huge scream. The huge front. Yeah. It's a Model X ripoff. Yeah. It, but it, 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 it's, it's an honest ripoff, and that's okay, and it's a good one. It's not just let's pretend to be a Tesla and then just mess up everything. Where's for? the heat? The heater is you push this and then you push this. Push up, push up, push up. Oh. How old school? Yeah, uh, there you're onto something. You just we just came from a Chinese producer. No one's heard of unless you're a geek like us. And what do you think of the car? What do you think of let's just take talk to the infotainment. This was a Chinese model. They've thrown some quickly uh, written down European beta software for it on the on the instrument clusters and that was in English. Uh, no wait, the screen was in English, instrument cluster was in Chinese. Yeah. But yeah, it was easy to navigate. Uh, it's, uh, well, you you knew what the things when you pushed something, you knew what you did uh, because it was so uh, self-explaining. Exactly. Yes, logical and yeah. clear and big buttons. And yeah. So, um, what do you think? Um, uh, yeah, I, I, I like the Ofteomet system and I also like the car because uh, it was silent. Uh, you, it was um, very bright. It was you had this huge white, uh, this huge front screen. No, what do you call it? Windscreen. Windscreen, thank yeah. you. There's no panel roof, but it goes so far up yeah. behind you. I didn't really notice it. So it was very bright. Uh, I'm like the big sister to this one, the 2008. Mm -hmm. And I felt it was just... Yeah, you felt cramped in that yeah. one. That was, the, the champagne was very bright, so I liked it. And uh, yeah, it's uh, one thing. I could have better support for your ties. But uh, other than that, I liked it. It was a very good first impression. Uh, the foot walls were a little bit cramped if you're if you if you're long legged. Yeah. But it's not not nothing really massive. You could fix it because it was plenty of uh, the seats were good. The suspension has apparently been set up in 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 cooperation with Porsche. I'm glad to see that Porsche still have a still have an engineering arm. That's what they were set up for in the first place hundred years ago. Anyway, that's a different matter. I, I I'm impressed. Yeah. 200 horses. I don't know the torque figure. I think it's around 300 newton. It feels, because it feels really quick. Not Tesla, but really quick. Um, spacious. Mm. And you have a lot of equipment in there. You have. You have the screen, you have the aircon, you have the massive windscreen, the the camera. Uh, there's two equipment levels. One is the cheap one, don't have leather seats, and it, it doesn't have cold seats. 
and it doesn't have the drone thingy camera on the roof. That's the difference. It will start at around 380. Uh, 280,000 euros. Yeah, give or take. Yeah. Um, that is a damn good product. And we also tested the self parking thing. Yeah. Uh, on the that was park. spooky. Yeah. <laughs> it was. It, it was so smooth and so natural. It was like, wow, wow. And the thing, that thing did the parking better than what you do sometimes. Yeah, it was just brilliant. <laughs> Not to say something no, about no, it was. parking, but you sometimes they park like a grandma. Oh, yeah, I know. Um, I just, it's, I mean, I think Kia, Hyundai, Nissan, they will have a really, really big challenge on their hands because these guys can deliver and it's a bloody good product as well. Yeah. I have to say that this was the first impression. Uh, we just had the car for an, an hour. Yeah. So, um, but we'll get back with a more in-depth review when the European cars comes. Uh, in a month's time or so. Yeah, so next, starting the start of the next year maybe? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, uh, because we're, we are silently and smoothly uh, getting uh, towards Christmas, so yeah. Yes, we are. 2020 is soon over. Yay, of it. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> That's true. So I'm just still impressed and flabbergasted. I did not know it would be such a good product. Uh, it's not just, oh, it did that thing very well. I mean, the whole car is just very, very well put together. Yeah, try it on motorway and see how the, how it... How yeah, and the autopilot or the magic pilot or whatever Chopin calls it. <laughs> it is pure Tesla ripoff. They're actually in a, in, in a, uh, what do you call it? They've been sued over it, but it works. That's the important part. I mean, it's not. I'm, I'm not a fan of Chinese companies stealing other other people's tech at all. That's not what I'm saying. But it really does work. Yeah. Uh, unlike parts of this car. So there you have it. Yeah. I think that's it for now. Yeah. Uh, 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 unless I go, we're just waffling. Yeah. But uh, subscribe to the channel. Like the video if you want. Comment yeah. if you have questions. And uh, we'll see you next time. Bye. Yes, you will. Bye-bye.